okay now um, I'm going to show you how to create an HTML document it's very simple first thing whatever that you do create a folder okay this folder can be anywhere you can create in your D drive you can create on your desktop you can create anywhere you want so now I'm going to create one on the desktop okay so new folder so I will name it as IWP okay so um, this will be the folder that you are going to keep all your HTML documents all right so now I'll close this first okay now in order for you to create an HTML document you need some kind of an editor so in our case we are going to use notepad or notepad plus plus I would prefer notepad plus plus because they have colors so when you use notepad plus plus it's easy for you to identify your mistakes so it can be downloaded for free so download it and use it so I have already here downloaded so double click and you'll get your editor all right so remember this is a text editor it's not a web page editor so we have to do a bit of uh, modification all right whenever we are saving the file okay so let's save this file uh, sorry let's uh, put in the content first okay so HTML documents always start with doc type you have the exclamation mark and then doc type HTML okay this statement actually tells you that this is a document that follows HTML5 okay and then you have the HTML tag okay uh, remember whatever that is like between this symbol the less than and the more than symbol right they are called tags okay tags all right so you have HTML below HTML we have the head tag inside the head tag we have the title tag and you need to close it so this will be the opening tag and this will be the closing tag so how do you know that it is the closing tag it looks almost similar the difference is the forward slash so whatever tag that has the forward slash it denotes the ending tag the closing tag okay and then enter and close your head tag and then comes your body tag give some space close your body tag and close your HTML so the body tag okay from here up to here this is where you place all your contents okay so this is a very basic HTML document skeleton so this is what you will see in every web page all right a simple one a very basic one now I have not saved this yet so let's save it okay so save I'm going to save in this particular folder so I have to go to my desktop and then go and find that particular folder okay here it is give a name for the document so let's say I'm going to name it as intro I need to put the extension it can be htm or html remember the extension is very important because this is not a web editor it's a normal text editor so you need to specify the format of your document okay once you have given the name and also you have added the extent extension go to save as type change it to all files okay save it once you have saved it you can see that the colors changed so once you can see that the color have changed that mean you have actually saved the document correctly okay go to your folder and you can see your file 
and on the right hand side you can see the format the type so once you see HTML file that means you have actually saved the file correctly how do you actually open up this particular file right click and open with for me I have like many uh, browsers here so in your case you can choose the ones that you are familiar with so I'm just going to open it with Internet Explorer Explorer so this is what I have okay so that is how you save an HTML document and that is how you open the document for viewing it looks very empty so why not we put in a title first okay so can you see the title tag okay go in between the tags and then just put uh, my web page okay save this go back to your browser you can click on refresh which is this okay or you can click on F5 alright so click on F5 so can you see a difference whatever that you type between the title tag will appear at your title bar which is this and also at the tab section okay so this will be the title of your page and whatever other contents you can put here all right so if you want to create another document what you can do is you can copy the structure open a new document save it uh, uh, paste it okay you can change the title if you want to save the document go back to whatever folder that you want to save it in change the name maybe um, lesson dot html don't forget the extension change the save as type and save it once you see the color change then you are okay all right that means you have saved everything correctly just to be on the safe side go to your folder and check is it being saved correctly yes all right so if you want to look at your document you can go to the url over here you can even change it here so the name is lesson so i can type lesson here enter this is my page very simple